Hello and welcome to episode seven of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking data and crypto. We are talking VIDT data link. We have 10 minutes. Let's go. VIDT data link, cash tag VIDT, $46 million market cap, $1 price per token. Total supply is fixed, 57 million. Um, circulating supply is 46 million, so no fully diluted risk there, which is nice. Quick timeline. If we hop over to crypto rank, our private pre-sale was late 2018 at $0.08. Cents. Right after that was our ICO in late 2018 at $0.40. Cents. Um, they raised $3.4 million there. If we come back to CoinGecko on our chart, that times up somewhat nicely in that the, the issuance of the token was March 2019, down at $0.04 cents again. So it was actually, it looks like um, 10x less than the ICO price. I mean, it climbed quickly. Um, it was a tough issuance in mid-19 um, during the bear market of 19. And then, as you can see, it's performed really well um, since the COVID dip. Congrats to everyone that got un in under a dollar. Um, we've hit that milestone right now. Really quickly popping over to the website. Data integrity verified. VID makes any digital file verifiable. Excellent. Let's see a product demo. Here's their VID verify verification terminal. I've got a document here, crypto portfolio for boomers. Let's see if it's verifiable. While they do that, they do have a bunch of case studies um, with large organizations, uh, very well documented. What's even better though, is we have, uh, they are wonderful to give us VIDT usage statistics. So we're gonna use those statistics today to forecast, see if we can back into some market caps, future market caps, and also future token prices as well. Let's see. Well, look, my file is not verified. This file's fingerprints has never been validated. Um, it looks like the file I gave them um, correctly told me that I had never given it to VIDT before or paid for it to be validated. So there's a little product demo for you. Let's go back to the usage statistics. This is where I want to focus today. And let's go over to our Excel. Let's start with our assumptions. We're gonna invest $1,000 based on a $1 token price today. We're gonna to get 1,000 tokens. Now, quickly, let's go through the usage statistics. Here's our token distribution schedule. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, Five-year vesting for the team and advisors um, and vesting uh, yearly. We got our market cap, our, circu our total circu circulating supply, our total burnt so far, um, our validation wallet balance, if we come over to this beautiful diagram here, here is the economy of VIDT, which we'll get into later. Um, my forecasts don't directly tie to this economy exactly, um, but I do want to incorporate, incorporate that in the future. But do take a look at this. It's not too hard to understand. Um, and let's go back to the usage, usage dashboard. If we come down, we have the VIDT fees chart and the transactions and fees as well as what I wanna focus on down here, the certification fee per file and the burns and buybacks, so our historical uh, file certifications. Right now, it costs four VIDT per file certification, um, and that's based on $1.24 euros. So let's come over here. This is all based on Ethereum. They do do data uh, verification over five blockchains, which we'll discuss uh, shortly. These Ethereum certification fees are $4 per file or $1.47 um, per file as well. I've looked at the token spent. Um, if every file is for VIDT, every token spent, we can divide by four and get to a number of estimated files certified. So I've looked at the 2019 and early 2020 statistics, good year-over-year -year growth in token spent. Um, here's my estimated annual token spend, 86% year-over-year estimated growth. If I divide each of those token spends by four, it looks like in 2019, we, we certified close to 2.4 million certificates. This year, I'm estimating up to 4.5 million. Now, if it's $4.47 uh, minimum fee per file, I can back into a certification estimated re annual revenue. I've done 3.6 million for 2019. For 2020, it looks like it's almost double of 6.7 million. Um, based on if I have market caps now as well, um, I'm using 
December 31, 2019 for the 2019 column and today's for 2020 column, I can back into estimated revenue multiples. Um, and we had a very, very low um, 2019 market cap. You can see that in the price as well, um, if I, especially if I go to linear. Very low market cap. So we had very low multiples, um, which we'll discuss. Additionally, we can create token multiples. I can take my market cap and divide it by the annual token spent. And then I can compare that year over year. That's, that multiple's gone up. I can also take the market cap and divide it by the annual file certifications that they've performed. That's gone up drastically, um, simply because of the, the massive, massive increase in, in estimated market cap. Then if I have the estimated circulating supply, which I've estimated out to 2030 plus here in my forecasts, um, up to the full total supply of 57.5 million, I can back into a token price and then we can look at our $1,000 investment and its profit percentage. So let's do it. Right now, I'm estimating about 4.5 million files certified in 2020. Um, we could see that could be understated. Um, and then if I go to 2021, 22, 23, 24, and 2030 plus, if, if, if the organization certifies 10 million files, we're looking at about 14 million in revenue, 50 million files, 73 million, 100 million, 147, 1 billion files, 1 billion in revenue, and onward. Um, with that, using a multiple that we got from today's estimated revenue to market cap, or market cap to revenue of 6.92, we can back into an estimated market cap. So I've taken my estimated annual revenue for 2021. I've multiplied it by my multiple for this year, which is probably a little aggressive. And I've gotten to an estimated market cap of 100 million. I can take that and divide it by my estimating circulating supply. And I get an estimated token price of $2.14. You know what? That seems pretty reasonable to me. We can double our market cap and our investment if the organization certifies double the, um, double the files. So let's continue that logic. Note my revenue multiples are decreasing. This is a manual input um, to discount future cash flows. And as if the organization uh, certifies 50 million files, we're looking at a $400 million market cap. $100 million files turns into about $600 million, and so on and so forth, all the way till if the organization certifies $25 billion, uh, documents, they should get revenue in around 36 million or, you know, tens of billions in revenue. And we should have an organization that has a market cap a little over that, a little over those revenue, um, that revenue, annual revenue, excuse me. Um, the token multiples, I do see decreasing over time heavily. Because um, right now, we're pretty much saying that every file is worth about 10x um, its revenue and or 10x6 file certification and, and 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 the profit or the value there which seems a bit high so i have decreased that over time as well or actually that's a consequence of the decrease in the revenue multiple back to token price based on all of these estimates we do see drastic increases in our token price and our investment value if we do get to 100 million cert, cert, uh, files certified we could be looking at $11.20 token price for a 1,000% gain. Um, if we hit the magical number of a billion uh, files certified, we're looking at $80 a token and upwards of $25 billion, uh, 25 billion files certified, we're looking at nearly $1,000 a token. Um, so we do have a pretty small total supply. So we could see this token um, getting into the hundreds are four potential outcomes that we usually discuss. Uh, potential for failure, that's very true. Um, this has been a very open and public company. Um, let me just show you how so. Um, you can see that they're very public on their website. Their whole team's here. I think it's 12 employees and three advisors. So I can, and I've heard claims they're profitable um, over Twitter and over um, just the internet. So I could see that. If I'm estimating about three, six million revenue this year, and they estimated I'm asking about three million last year. I can see them running a profitable business um, with this revenue from companies. Go back to our usage dashboard um, and our potential outcomes. And go back to CoinGecko. Um, we could sell 
in the, this third BTC bull run that's coming up, look for a zero to thousand percent gain. We could sell in the fourth BTC bull run in the late 20 decade, 20s decade, and we could be a hodler in the network and we could just hodl. And um, I don't know if there's any participation in the network by consumers, correct me if I'm wrong, um, in terms of network staking, but we could just hodl and, and be a network participant. Um, I have looked at comparables as well. I broke it down into big data, which I need to get a better definition in because there's there uh, there's a lot of different data plays in, in crypto. There's data I've broken them down into data storage with CN storage, and then also non DLT data companies. I was going to get into detail on different legacy um, data companies, but there were just too many, so I broke it down into industries. Um, so, you know, secure file transfer, data encryption, data center, cloud backup and security, file document, information assurance services. Um, here's my crypto big data uh, comparables that you can see here as well. If you need these classifications in your portfolio, uh, big data, file storage, cybersecurity, enterprise business, I think this is a great altcoin for, for growth. Um, I do give this a very strong buy. What I would be cautious of, though, is... We have had some recent, large recent growth here. So please buy during retraces. Be patient and wait for altcoin days where the whole market's down, for, you know, that 3 to 7%, that 3 to 10%, those type of days. Um, wait for those days. Don't FOMO buy on a 2% up day. You could save yourself 7 to 10% easily. Um, quickly, before we go, let's switch over to my Word document. I've Our TLD and... LT, our TLDR investment thesis, thesis is pretty much we want VIDT to become the gold standard for document validation, certification, storage, and tracking, and also the gold standard for document fraud prevention. I've listed out primary evaluation propositions, some data keywords because there's so many, and also the risks of the business too. So pause the video if you want to read those. I do want to note one thing. I love that there is connectivity with the VIDD app, with everybody, cloud service providers, AWS, publishing platforms, so any website, web 2.0 apps, and web.30 dApps. 